हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन टू डे इज आस्क अमंग सीरीज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू बैलेंस मटीरियल एंड स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ दिस इज वन ऑफ द एफिक यूज एंड पीपल नाउ दे आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ बट नेवर द लेस वी हैव सम मटीरियल डिजायर्स मटीरियल ऑक्यूपेशंस एंड जॉब्स स्टडीज एंड टूडेज वर्ल्ड इट डिमांड्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू एंगेज इन सच एक्टिविटीज and some time is required for spiritual activities also so how to have a fine balance is the question which many many people ask now the fundamental concept which we have to understand is which we keep on discussing today also let us discuss again because it's very important what is material and what is spiritual then comes the question of having a balance between the two usually we understand spiritual life means something for my peace and happiness or the service of god and material life means something which we do to have enjoyment in this life of our mind and senses so when a person asks a question how can i balance both so it can be compared to a person asking sir i have two jobs in one job i am earning 10 rupees in another job i am earning 1000 rupees so can you please tell me how can i have a balance between the two jobs i want to do job which gives me 10 rupees and i want to do which gives me 1000 rupees also so one will say what kind of question is this similarly it is not a question of putting a balance between material and spiritual life we have to understand we have to completely spiritualize our life because what we call material is automatically included in the spiritual life this is the confidential message of bhagavad gita in ninth chapter of bhagavad gita the most confidential knowledge is the title in verse number 22 lord krishna mentions ananyas chintayanto mam ye jana paryupasate tesham nitya bhyukta nam yoga kshemam vahamyaham अनन्य चिंतयंतो माम अ पर्सन हु इज ऑलवेज चिंतयंतो माम इज मेडिटेटिंग अपॉन माय ट्रांसेंडेंटल फॉर्म वी ऑल नो द फॉर्म ऑफ कृष्णा वी सी पिक्चर्स इन द बुक वी सी डीटीज इन द टेंपल अनन्य वन हु इज मेडिटेटिंग विदाउट एनी इंटरप्शन अन अन्य विदाउट एनी डिविएशन वॉट सेवर चिंतयंतो माम वन हु इज थिंकिंग अबाउट मी नॉट अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ये जनाफ परुपास नित्य अभियुक्ता नाम वन हु इज वर्शिपिंग मी एंड ऑलवेज एंगेज इन माय सर्विस इन सच एन अनइंटरप्टेड वे तेशाम अन टू देम योग क्षेमम वहामी अहम योगा मीन्स टू हैव समथिंग विच वी लैक एंड क्षेमा मीन्स टू प्रोटेक्ट विच वी हैव वहामी अहम मीन्स आई कैरी पर्सनली सो देर इज अ वेरी नाइस हिस्टोरिकल इंसिडेंट फ्रॉम द लाइफ ऑफ अर्जुन आचार्य great acharya from south india in our country so arjun acharya was writing a commentary on bhagavad gita and while writing commentary he came across this verse in which krishna mentions vahami aham i personally carry what the devotees lack and i preserve what they have so he thought krishna personally who is krishna in brahma samhita it is mentioned that unlimited universes exist within this material creation yes yai ka nishvasit kalam athav lambya jeevanti lom vilja jagadand natha and there is a very great form of lord krishna who is known as mahavishnu from the pores of his body different bubbles are coming out and every bubble is a universe this may appear to be very fantastic but this is god so just like when we breathe 
breathe in, breathe out. There is perspiration always coming out from her body. Water vapors, they come out from the body. In a similar fashion, the bubbles come out of the body of Krishna who is floating on a very big water body which is called Karan Jal, Karan Sagar. This is the description of the Vedas. And this great personality of Mahavishnu is coming from Krishna. Vishnu Mahan Sahiyaya Se Kala Vishesho Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bhajami I worship that Govinda Supreme Person from whom Lord Vishnu is coming out. And from that Lord Mahavishnu, universes come out. So we just know about one Vishnu, but actually there are three Vishnus that, as it is mentioned in the Vedash. Vishnu to Trini Rupani Purushakhyani Atho Viduhu. There are Trini Rupani, three kinds of Vishnus. So this Mahavishnu, uh, people do not have knowledge about him, very confidential. Then within these universes, there is Garbhoda Koshyan, on which uh, Lord Vishnu, Mahavishnu expands himself as Garbhodakshai Vishnu. And uh, because he is also very huge, and in his navel, there is a lake. From that lake, from a seed in that lake, lotus flower comes out. Just like we have many lotus flowers in the lakes around us. On that lotus flower, Lord Brahma manifests. And that Lord Brahma creates all our bodies, our destinies and other planets within this universe. And... Among all the planets created, there is one planet which is called Dhruvaloka, which is also a spiritual planet, even though located in material world. There is third expansion of Lord Vishnu, who is known as Kshirodakshai Vishnu. And usually when we talk about Lord Vishnu, it is Kshirodakshai Vishnu, who then expands as Paramatma, enters into each and every atom, enters our hearts also. So there are three Vishnus. People do not have knowledge about less knowledge about Garbhodakshai Vishnu. We have seen sometimes Garbhodakshai Vishnu, least knowledge about Mahavishnu, because he lies outside the universe. Even the devtas cannot approach. Devtas are also confined. There are many, many devtas within every universe, like this unlimited universes are there. And Vishnu Mahan, that greatest Vishnu, Mahavishnu, Kala Vishesho, that is expansion of expansion of Govinda Madhi Purusham, Govinda, Lord Krishna. So who is Lord Krishna? Lord Krishna is so huge. He has got so many expansions. And then from all these expansions, unlimited energies are coming out. So Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna do not personally need to do anything. Simply their desire and everything is carried out by their energies. So when the Vedas described, Na tase karyam karanam cha vidyate, There is no need for Lord to do any activity. People think that Lord does not do any activity, He is inactive. No. He does not need to do any activity because Sabhaviki jnana bala kriya cha Parase shaktir vividhai vashruyate he has got unlimited potency simply by his desire, just like a big powerful person he desires. His secretaries, his people, they carry out the tasks. So God simply desires his energies carry out the tasks. And who are we? Who is God? Unlimited universes are coming out from his body. And who are we? We are infinitesimal, insignificant living entity. And Krishna is telling in this verse, Vahami Aham, I carry personally. What a devotee lacks and preserves what he has. So, then he struck off the lines by my, personally, and then he wrote by my energies like that. And then there was some requirement, household paraphernalia, they all need some something to eat, some requirements, some groceries. So, on the request of wife, he went out to fetch such groceries and other paraphernalia. Meanwhile, when Arjuna Acharya went out, there is a knock on the door. The wife opens the door and she sees two exquisitely beautiful boys. One is dark complexion, another is very fair. And both of them are carrying huge loads on their shoulders. Typically in, uh, in the Vedic civilization, there is a way to carry the loads. You carry on your shoulders on bamboo sticks. You balance uh, heavy weight like this, carrying a stick, and then heavy weight is loaded on the sticks. In this way, huge loads they were carrying. And uh, when she saw the boys, young boys, small boys, and somebody has loaded them so much, 
And then she noticed something even stranger. Somebody has beaten them also and there are marks on their backs. So it tells, my dear boys, who has given you so much of load? Please keep it here. So it was, no, no, your husband has told us. And uh, then when we told that we cannot, uh, it is too much, then he beat us also. Just see, there are marks on our back. So how Acharya has become so cruel? So please sit here. I will speak to Acharya. How he has become so cruel? He is usually very kind. So please sit here, have prasadam, and let me speak to Acharya when he comes back. So they tell, no, 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 we cannot stay. We have to go, otherwise he will beat us again. So she tells, no, please sit. I am just coming with prasadam. So she goes inside. Meanwhile, the boys, they run out. And then Arjun Acharya returns home. And then he sees whatever he was needing, all those things are already there. And he asks, my dear wife, I went out but I could not get these things. Now I am surprised to see all those things, whatever I desired, it is all here, all kept here. Who has supplied all these things? So wife tells uh, Acharya, you only sent. And how you have become so cruel, you sent those two boys with such heavy loads and you have beaten them also? So then Acharya got confused. And then Krishna inspired him from the heart. Then he asked the description of the boys and then he understood. That actually they were none other than Krishna and Balram. So because Arjuna Acharya, he, of course, these are all pastimes with the devotees. They have all knowledge. Through their medium, they want to instruct us. So Arjuna Acharya, uh, being a pure devotee of Lord, he acted as instrument in this Leela. And through him, Krishna instructed two very important instructions. First instruction the Bhagavad Gita, the instructions of Krishna are not different from Krishna. If you are striking off in Bhagavad Gita, it is same as the body of Krishna. Thus, there were lines on the body of, on the back of Krishna when he struck off the lines of Bhagavad Gita. So, there is no difference between the personality of Krishna and the instructions of Krishna and his holy name that we chant. So, when we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we are directly associating with Krishna. God is present in the form of sound. In a similar fashion, God is present with us in the form of His instructions in Bhagavad Gita. So one should not think, oh, Krishna is not there now, who will guide me? If we have faith that this Bhagavad Gita is not different as has been shown in this historical incident and many other incidents and instructions also, then we will be able to take personal instructions by reading Bhagavad Gita. And second very important instruction is what is directly related to our discussion. If a person is always engaged, ananya chintayantumam, constant meditation on form of Krishna and constant engagement in service of Krishna, then Krishna carries what a person lacks and preserves what one has. So in this way, one simply needs to spiritualize the entire existence and then material life is automatically part and parcel of spiritual life. The devotee need not endeavor very hard to Accumulate material assets. They follow automatically. Devotee is always materially also very comfortable. When even ordinary living entities, who is giving them knowledge how to eat, they don't go to any schools and colleges. All the other species of life, how they are taken care, Krishna is inspiring them, giving knowledge, doing all arrangements. So will Krishna not take care of his devotee who is completely surrendered? So the lack which we experience in society is simply lack of Krishna consciousness and not of material resources. In ignorance, we break the laws and then we suffer. So material life, now to material life also, there are two aspects. One aspect is simply keeping, keeping the body and soul together. Just having a comfortable life for maintenance. Another is to expand the luxuries of life for sense enjoyment. So the second kind of material life in which a person is not satisfied by bare minimum necessities but wants to increase the luxuries of life. So then a person can ask, how to take care of this Prabhu? I want to make my life more luxurious and so if I give more time, I will have more money and then I can practically see my luxuries I am trying to increase. So this is very, very dangerous life. It is told in Srimad Bhagavatam. Sixth canto, first chapter. Dehi agyo ajita shadvargo. Dehi means the dweller of the body, one who lives within this body. Ajita, agya shadvargaha. When a person is ignorant, does not understand that he is dehi, living within the body, but identifies oneself with this dress, 
आई एम मैन आई एम वुमेन आई एम एनिमल कैट डॉग रिच पुअर फेयर डार्क स्किनड दिस नेशनैलिटी एन अदर नेशन वेन वन आइडेंटिफाइज वन सेल विद द बॉडी एंड अजित शड वर्गा वन कैन नॉट कॉन्कर शड वर्गा मीन्स द सिक्स सेंसेस फाइव सेंसेस ऑफ परसेप्शन एंड द माइंड इफ वन डजन गेट ट्रेनिंग इन कंट्रोलिंग द माइंड एंड सेंसेस and one works very hard because one thinks i am the body and mind let me satisfy my mind and body it is told this kind of activity is very dangerous and the comparison given is that of a silkworm koshakara just like a koshakara ivatmanam kosh means cocoon a silkworm works very hard and what is the result of this hard work it is getting entangled in the cocoon and then it completely gets trapped inside it in a similar fashion we think if i work very hard i will be able to lord over material nature i will get lot of money and uh, influence in the society with that money and influence i can control the material nature the resources and then i will be very happy but shrimad bhagavatam tells and we see most of us are following this path only work very hard to lord over material nature but what has happened is koshakara ivatmanam koshakara means like a silkworm we have got trapped in the complexities of this material nature so another question which people ask is why this life is so complex they use the word complex and we all realize with the passage of years with this hard work to enjoy the material name fame reputation money influence we have made our life very very complex and bhagavatam tells yes it will be com- you will make it complex you will get trapped in the cocoon you will get suffocated bhagavatam is the word of god so if we want to have a life in which we simply want to indulge in a luxurious living with no limit to expand material enjoyment then we will not be able to enjoy our life will will become miserable we will get trapped in her complexities like a silkworm trapped in a cocoon so such a life is not tat prayaso na kartavyo yad ayur vyayav param we have to understand this is not real life this life is temporary the city in which we are living the planet on which we are living these planets and cities also do not exist always just like sand castles are built on the shore another wave comes and the castles are destroyed all these names forms personalities cities planets will get destroyed it's a temporary situation temporary situation is not reality it is called a dream or a drama in a dream or drama if a person becomes rich or poor it is not significant but dehi agya a person who is ignorant does not understand i have permanent life eternal life i have a life without death without fatigue without any material miseries life in this material world is fraught with so many miseries another example which is given in scriptures is very nice kheer sweet rice mixed with sand particles sweet rice is very tasty but when it is mixed with sand particles then a person does not know should i swallow it or should i spit it out in this way a person gets complex one does not know should i continue this life or should i go and live somewhere else i cannot spit i cannot swallow it this is the situation koshakara ivanala one person person gets trapped so one cannot enjoy unalloyed sweetness because any time there is disaster suddenly life is so nice and then there is covid and then uh, there is calamity in the business in the lives of the individuals then there is fight then there is disease there is death there is accident there is trauma there is abuse and so many other complicated situations this is the life in this material world agya that is why we should not remain agya we should come to the point of knowledge there is a place that is what lord krishna tells us please come to me you are not meant to continue this temporary dream like situation getting very happy in the dream like situation in this role and getting distressed if you do not get a uh, role of a rich or a successful person it's ultimately a role we are temporary this situation is temporary we are not temporary we are eternal so in order to have this realization one needs to completely spiritualize one's existence 
So the education that we are having in life, the job that we are having or the business that we are having, the aim should not be to indulge in luxuries, but the aim should be to engage in these activities for the satisfaction of Krishna. Another point is, even if we work very hard, we cannot change the economic level we are destined to have. It is not that if a person serves Krishna nicely, spiritualizes existence, all the devotees will become pauper. No. Arjuna to whom Bhagavad Gita was spoken was not a pauper. He wanted to become a pauper, a mendicant. But Krishna told, no, you fight. That is your duty. But fight for me. In a similar fashion, destiny will take us through different courses. Some will end up in very good, reputable situations. Some people will end up in ordinary situations. But my source of happiness is not so-called reputable or ordinary situation. My source of happiness is engagement in the loving service of Krishna. This is the happiness which we are seeking actually. Just like Amrish Maharaj, Yudhishthir Maharaj, Prithu Maharaj, Priyavrat Maharaj, they were very, very great, greatly powerful, exalted kings. They were ruling the entire planet. And even though they were ruling the entire planet, their life was completely spiritualized. Amrish Maharaj, it is told, Savai Mana Krishna Pada Ravindaya, or even though he was king, king is supposed to take so many responsibilities, so much burden. But he was always thinking of Krishna. Mana Krishna Pada Ravindaya, or 24 hours he was meditating on lotus feet of Krishna. Vachansi Vaikuntha Gunanu Varnane, what he was talking about, diplomacy? Vaikuntha Gunanu Varnane, he was talking about Vaikuntha, the activities of the spiritual world, the pastimes of Krishna. Karau Mandir Marjanadishu, with hands what he was doing, riding horses. Mandir Marjanadishu, he was cleaning the temple of the Lord with his own hands. Legs were used to visit the places of pilgrimage. The olfactory senses was used in smelling nice flowered aroma of the tulsi leaves offered to Krishna. In this way, all the senses were completely engaged in service of Krishna, but he was able to rule the entire planet. How? Yoga Kshemam Vahamiham. We have to have this faith. Whom we are serving, we are serving Krishna. Just like a small child does not know how to take care of itself, child is taken care automatically. The clothes are purchased by the parents. And the child does not even know how to clean itself. Parents will clean the child. Parents will feed the child. Child does not know how to cook. And uh, from where to get the ingredients, which ingredients to put, everything is done by parents. Similarly, we have to simply become dependent on Krishna. Nine months in the womb, we were dependent on Krishna completely. Now that we are out, we think, let me become independent and let me save time from Krishna consciousness. Let me work very hard in this world and see the result of hard work. Like a silkworm, we are uh, in a cocoon. So when we come out, we get independence. This independence should be used to become completely dependent on Krishna. Then there is love. If Krishna forces us, Krishna can force us, then that is not love. Love means always freedom is there. So Krishna gives us independence so that voluntarily we submit our independence to Krishna. So this is what we have to realize. Just like a small child is taken care completely by the parents, when we become dependent on Krishna, we can be in the most responsible positions. But everything will be taken care automatically. And devotees are doing it. Today devotees are in very responsible positions. They are leading the biggest industrial houses in the country, in the world. And they are following very nicely the instructions of Krishna, chanting 60 rounds every day, following four regulative principles. And the money that they have, they engage in the service of Krishna, at least 50% of it. And in this way, their life is completely spiritualized. And they are doing very nice in their education, in their jobs, in their businesses also. Krishna will give inspiration from the heart. Krishna, what is Krishna? Gopis wanted to spend little time with Krishna. But how to balance this time? We want to be with Krishna also. We, want, we have our own household responsibilities also. So Krishna made this arrangement. Uh, when gopis went to dance with Krishna in the Ras Leela, for their families only one night passed. And for the gopis, they danced with Krishna for one night of Brahma. Brahma's one night is 44 lakh into 1000 years. So Krishna can create this 
So we are not getting time to execute Krishna consciousness, but time is under control of Krishna. So Krishna tests us like this. Our job, our uh, occupation will demand so much of time. That time also, if you stick to the rules and regulations of Krishna consciousness, Krishna will do the arrangement. So for ordinary people, only 8 hours passed. For gopis, 44 lakh into 1000 years association of Krishna. And those 8 hours also, did they become angry or you leave the house? You have left the house? No. Because the bodies of the gopis were still there in the houses. But gopis went there in the spiritual bodies to participate with Krishna in his Leela. So thus Krishna can make all these arrangements, all the complexities, everything can be balanced. We just need to have dependence on Krishna. Krishna is in control of everything completely. So in this way, just like 1000 rupees includes 10 rupees, Krishna consciousness, spiritual life automatically includes the material affairs. And still, the vocational duties which have to be spiritualized, which have to be done for Krishna, how much time to spend in it can be the next question. I understood Prabhu, I will study only for Krishna so that I can have a good position to spread this knowledge. I will do my job so that by the money that I earn, I can spread this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. But still that also needs so much of time, how to manage. So that is explained by Srila Prabhupada in Bhagavatam, maximum 8 hours we have to put. At no point of time it should happen that my fundamental practices, my sadhana is getting, sadhana and seva is getting disturbed. I should chant 16 rounds minimum every day, read one hour Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, the scriptures every day and hear Bhagavatam lecture every day. Morning and evening when I am hearing, I can invite some people, my neighbors, my colleagues. If I am in office in lunchtime, we can discuss some Bhagavad Gita. So this should never be compromised, our sadhana and spreading this knowledge to others. Morning and evening and daytime, we can engage nicely. Up to 8 hours, it is mentioned in Bhagavatam, we can engage in the service of Krishna. Not more than that. In 8 hours, whatever is there in destiny will come to us automatically. By hard work, we cannot get what is we are not destined to get. So maximum 8 hours we can put. And in this way, our vocational, occupational duties, whatever they produce, at least 50% of it can be used in spreading Krishna consciousness. In this way, our entire life will be spiritualized and whatever we are doing, those all those activities will not produce any material reactions. Otherwise, life of material indulgence, it covers ourselves in the karmic activities, law of action and reaction. And then we all realize, koshakara ivatmanam. So in this way, we can balance material and spiritual life. Material life of material comforts automatically it is arranged when we engage in service of Krishna. And those activities also, we need not put more than 8 hours. Morning and evening, completely dedicated for Krishna. The daytime, work very hard for the satisfaction of Krishna, not more than 8 hours. And the results that we have, at least half of it, we offer to Krishna. So this one concept we have to take out of our mind by accumulation of assets, wealth, reputation in society, we will become very happy. No, this is wrong education, wrong publicity, wrong propaganda and a childish mentality. Just like a child thinks, if I have lot of chocolates, I eat lot of chocolates, I'll be happy. But chocolates will spoil one's health and teeth. Parents know that. So in a similar fashion, we have to have this understanding now. Accumulation of material assets simply increases complexities in our life. With this, we will end today's discussion. And now, I am open for questions. You can please start posting in the chat. <clears throat> okay. The question is, our karmic activities pertains to our material life and our bhakti activities are our spiritual life. By karma we earn money, while in bhakti activities we cannot earn or gain money, kindly guide. So, we have discussed this thing, if uh, I think you join in between, otherwise I clarified this point. 
वॉट इज भक्ति भक्ति हैज कम फ्रॉम भज धातु भज मीन्स टू रेंडर सर्विस इफ आई वर्क वेरी हार्ड नॉट फॉर कृष्णास प्लेजर बट फॉर प्लेजर ऑफ माई अनकंट्रोल्ड माइंड एंड सेंसेस माई पर्सनल इंडिविजुअल सेटिस्फैक्शन देन दैट इज कॉल कार्मिक एक्टिविटी कर्मा बट इफ आई वर्क टू गिव सेटिस्फैक्शन टू कृष्णा दैट इज कॉल भक्ति वैन अर्जुना इज शूटिंग एरोज ऑन द बैटल फील्ड अर्जुना इज डूइंग भक्ति वैन लॉर्ड हनुमान इज फाइटिंग विथ इज मेस इन द बैटल ही इज ऑल्सो डूइंग भक्ति वैन अ मदर इज कुकिंग इन द किचन If one thinks, let me give satisfaction to my family members, or let me enjoy this food, then that is karma. But if the mother is cooking, let me cook very nicely for Krishna, so that Krishna can be satisfied, and this prasadam can be distributed to my family members, so that all of us can advance in devotional service to Krishna on the path of liberation. Then that cooking is bhakti. If a person is taking care of children very nicely, so that my children will become uh good uh, successful students or educators or businessmen tomorrow they will have lot of reputation in society and that, that is called karma if a person takes care of family very nicely so that yes let my children uh, their demands be met let me keep them very comfortable let me give them good education so that in future they can have a good job in business by which they can serve krishna then such an activity is such taking care of the family members is called bhakti so any activity be it cooking taking care of children attending to our jobs or fighting a war if done for satisfaction of krishna is bhakti that is what i have uh, we have been discussing that we have to completely do bhakti 24 hours when i am sleeping at night so that oh, i can enjoy the sleep so then that is called karma if i am sleeping at night because i am disgusted oh this body cannot serve krishna anymore anyway let me give body some rest so that again body is rejuvenated for krishna's service then that sleep is also bhakti in this way eating mating mating also when a person mates so that i can enjoy this sex pleasure then that is called karma rather horrible karma sinful activity but if a person mates so that i can produce nice krishna conscious children there is a way to do it in a certain time of the month after chanting 50 rounds of hari krishna 50 rounds of hari krishna maha mantra following all the rules regulations of pure consciousness if uh, husband wife have physical association conceive the child there is all possibility child born will be a devotee such a child will take the parents on the path of liberation and many many others also on the planet then such mating krishna tells dharma viruddho kamo asmi i am the sex pleasure which is according to religious principles such mating is also spiritual life some people uh, may get shocked oh mating is spiritual life yes that is why we have uh, the great mahajanas who are grahasthas janak maharaj is mahajan one of the 12 greatest authorities on spiritual life but he is a grahastha ved vyas uh, householder Bali Maharaj also a householder, so there have been many many householders. So mating is also spiritual if mating is done to produce a Krishna conscious child. So every activity done for Krishna is bhakti. Done for my individual satisfaction is karma. Karma should be avoided. Bhakti should be done always. Hari Krishna Prabhu Ji, Dhanvat Pranam. Guidance in spiritual life is taken from devotees. Then guidance for choosing career or profession should be taken from devotees or non devotees. so everything should be done under guidance of devotees of course uh there are some practical things if you want to understand from devotees on which platform should i build this website devotees might not have details so devotees can tell okay you approach this person about to get this knowledge so practical knowledge we have to approach experts but overall guidance whether i should do this kind of activity or not that should be taken from devotees if a devotee there also if a devotee is telling do not approach that person we should not do that so everything should be done under guidance of devotees for practical guidance devotees can send us just like we also if we have to make temple we cannot tell i will just consult devotees i have to go out and uh, consult a suitable structural engineer or an architect we have to take care of those skills 
So for fulfilling the material requirements, we have to take the help of expert materialists, but everything is done under the guidance of umbrella of devotees. So devotees' guidance supersedes all other guidances. Balancing means that one has to reduce working and allocate time for understanding and practicing spiritual life. So is it two different paths? What if a person simply goes to gym and builds body for four hours? So that is what we discussed. We have to see whether that is useful or not. Uh, working out for four hours can also be a spiritual activity. If a person has to fight a war, so they have to d do drill and practice every day. If that is one's requirement, one has got the job of a bodyguard. Bodyguard needs to have good health. He might have to do basic two hours or whatever hours of spend in gym every day. Because from that money only one can maintain oneself. So if one profession needs four hours of workout every day, then it should be done. But, but if a person is thinking, oh, I will have nice muscles, by these I will attract nice women, and I will enjoy with them and I will be happy. This is great misconception. Life will become miserable. So everything should be done for Krishna's pleasure. If Krishna's pleasure necessitates certain activity, then we can do that. Purnima Mataji Hare Krishna Are there 33 crore gods in Sanatan Dharma or 33 principal gods? 8 Vasus, 12 Adityas, 11 Rudras, 1 Indra, 1 Praja, Pita as per Vedas. So Koti means both. Koti means crores also. Koti means categories also. So both are correct. Hare Krishna Prabhu, in any scriptures, do Shiva and Shakti, you mean are Shiva and Shakti also mentioned that they are also devotees of Krishna? Why not? You please open Srimad Bhagavatam, last chapter, where it is told Vaishnava Anam Yatha Shambhu in 12th chapter in the concluding verses. Just like among the Vaishnavas, among the devotees, Lord Shiva is greatest. Similarly, among the Puranas, Srimad Bhagavatam is the greatest, it is the best. And about Goddess Durga also it is mentioned. Lord Shiva only tells Mother Parvati, Parvati is the topmost Vaishnavi. Chaye vayasya bhuvanani bibarti Durga, srishti siti pralaya sadhana shakti reka, srishti siti pralaya. Of all the universes is done by Durga and she acts like shadow of Krishna. So does Durga, Lord Shiva, they are all devotees, pure devotees of Krishna. <coughs> Sorry. Amit Prabhu, Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, I want to prove myself successful in front of the world. Otherwise, people would say my Krishna consciousness is just an excuse from, from failure. Why have strong craving for world's respect? Because of ignorance, actually. If we are demanding craving for respect in this world, that is because of ignorance. So this world, Bhagavatam explains, Nunam Pramatta Kurute Vikarma. This entire world is full of matta means mad, pramatta means very, very mad. So people are mad because they do not know their identity. You go to Disneyland and there you'll find some people who are wearing the dress of Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pluto. And if they start thinking, I am Donald Duck, I am Mickey Mouse, I am Minnie Mouse, then that is madness. Similarly, those who are identifying themselves with their dresses, man, woman, Indian, American, Pakistani, Chinese, then that is called mad civilization. So what to speak of craving for respect in a mad civilization, one will be extremely uncomfortable even talking to them. Thus Krishna tells in the 13th chapter verses 8 through 12, the elements of knowledge. In that Krishna explains, one of the elements of knowledge is, Vivikta Desha Sevitvam, person would like to resort to solitary places. He would like to live with devotees away from the association of materialists. Just like if somebody tells you, you work in this office which is full of mad people, I will be extremely uncomfortable, I cannot do that. So that is why vivikta desha sevitvam, aratir jan sansadi, arati, rati means attachment, jan sansadi. For general mass of people, devotee develops detachment because one understands everybody is insane here. I am living in a society which is full of insane people. 
Now we also have insanity. That is why we care about insane people. But if I develop, but it does not matter. In material world, all of us more or less are insane. But the moment we come in touch with Krishna consciousness, our insanity, it finds a remedy. So when we develop sufficient sanity, I understand, oh, everybody is insane. They are thinking they are their dresses. Then we will not crave for any honor, dishonor in this world. Then we will be liberated. Then nobody can push us to work very hard in our uh, places, 10 hours, 12 hours, taking so much of stress when the result is not coming. Then we will be free. We will be liberated. So we have to simply follow Krishna consciousness. This realization will develop automatically. But still, devotee is liberated. Liberated means he can work very well with insane people also. Why? For the service of Krishna. Just like the intelligence agents, sometimes they work in the army of enemy country. So he's working in the army of enemy country for the interest of his own country. He must feel very uncomfortable with the enemies around him. Of course, nobody's enemy. I'm talking about material concept. But then they work very nicely, very diligently. In a similar fashion, one can remain with the insane people in bodily concept for the interest of Krishna. What is interest of Krishna? To preach Krishna consciousness. So devotee has no interest in talking with the materialistic people, but to give them relief from this suffering. We have got the remedy. We have got this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, by which this insanity can be cured. So that is why sometimes insane person attacks the doctor only. So people may criticize devotees also. But devotee nevertheless takes risks because one is very compassionate upon the condition of ordinary entities. So please do not bother much what people will... But yes, we should be very regulated in our activities. We should not become lazy. So it's a good question. So we should be careful that we don't put up show up a bad example in society so we tell the students you please work very hard try to top the class but despite that you are not able to top then it does not matter don't worry you don't leave your krishna conscious practices to top in your company or in your job but do your tasks very nicely don't stay for extra hours work in a regulated stipulated hours and Krishna will guide how to do that very nicely. Our material life will be comfortable. But for some reasons, Krishna wants to give us some realization, detachment. It doesn't happen. Don't worry about it. We have to depend upon Krishna. But we have to not put up a bad example, lousy. And oh, these people, just see, they cannot do anything. Uh, they are failing. They are coming late to the office, not finishing the tasks. And no. We are putting up a nice example in the society. I am putting my best in the stipulated hours. Now, if result does not come, then big people also fail. Which industry is there which is not shut down? All the industries will collapse. Our bodies will collapse. The nature of this material world is everything is going to collapse despite one's hard work. So, one should be very, very alert in, in our services so that we don't put people away from Krishna consciousness. I'll become like this if I follow. But despite that, despite putting our work, if you are not able to put up a good show, please do not worry about it. Then that is Krishna's desire. Sudipto Prabhu Hare Krishna. Hmm. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, can entrepreneurship and spirituality go hand in hand? If yes, how? Yes, why not? We have many entrepreneurs who are following Krishna consciousness. And their only aim is, if I set up this industry very nicely, I can serve Krishna. So for the service of Krishna, you can do entrepreneurship. But please do not get carried away. Oh, startup means we have to work for 12 hours, 15 hours. Do not get carried away. We cannot change destiny like that. So put up regulated hours, not more than 8 hours, and remain satisfied with the results. And with the results, please try to serve Krishna. Then you will be having bliss even in your startup. Priyanshu Prabhu Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Prabhuji, how to become dependent on Krishna? By following the instructions of Krishna under the guidance of the devotees. Not Krishna is telling that you uh, follow this process. 
always chant my name. I tell no, I do not have time. Then we are not being... Krishna is telling, Sar dharman paritya, forget all dharma, surrender completely unto. We are fearful. If I surrender to Krishna, then I may lose something. That is called independence. So following all the instructions of Krishna and instructions, we need to have some clarity, maturity. For that, guidance of devotees is required. So without any reservation, completely following instructions of Krishna, under the guidance of devotees, that is called being dependent on Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, I am doing only doing four rounds daily. Please stick to it. It is understandable. Uh, we might not be able to chant more rounds immediately. But whatever you are doing, please do not reduce. Decide your level. And laws of nature don't give easy release so that a person can immediately serve Krishna completely. So decide yourself. But never reduce that. Now four rounds if you have decided, never bring it down. Chant four rounds at all cost every day. And then gradually Krishna Prabhupada will be merciful. We will get time circumstances to increase our rounds. But aspire to reach minimum 16 rounds as soon as possible. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, as per scriptures, who is more fortunate, gopis or Vishnu Lakshmi? So different devotees have different desires. Uh, there is no material comparison in the spiritual world. Krishna takes care of a calf as he takes care of Srimati Radharani. On absolute platform, there is no difference of service. But still, uh, the pleasure which is relished in the position of gopis, there is no comparison to it. That is the highest as it is told in the scriptures. It is just like a person is having many relatives. A person is having wife, children, uncles, aunts, cousins, so many servants, so many of them. So the son would not like to become wife of his father. Son likes to remain son of father. But still, the pleasure which is enjoyed among the husband and wife is much more intimate and higher than the pleasure enjoyed between person and their children. Although a person needs all the pleasures and they also would not like to change their positions, but still there is a pleasure which is greatest. In this way we can understand. Every living entity has got a unique relationship with Krishna. They like to serve Krishna in that relationship only. Still, there are some relationships which offer the highest mellows and those are the conjugal relationships between that of Krishna and the gopis. So, Deepto Prabhu, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, even though chanting is done for many years, why I become anxious and nervous over worldly affairs and become tensed always on this life? Can you please give me a solution? Yeah, so you can please take care of... Uh, this thing that we are following this in association of devotees because chanting uh, is an art we have to avoid the 10 kinds of offenses if uh, we are not avoiding these offenses especially the last offense to maintain material attachments even after understanding so many instructions on the subject matter and it is also offensive to be inattentive while chanting. If you are not attentive, we are maintaining material attachments. It is like rowing the boat with the anchor down. The boat will keep on going in circles without moving forward. So anchor has to be brought up. So this anchor is material attachment. With material attachment, we keep on executing the things. We will not make significant spiritual advancement. So thus, please take guidance of devotees how to avoid these 10 kinds of offenses. Then offenseless chanting will bring result very soon. And if we continue offensive chanting, it may give rise to various weeds, material desires, and it can choke up our spiritual life eventually. So that is why proper guidance is very much required. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, I don't want to go out with office people, but sometimes because of compulsion had to attend. In that people were taking wine and non-veg. Next day I was so depressed, what to do? No, no, please don't be depressed. We try to avoid in principle and uh, we educate others also when they ask us why you are not coming out, why you are not socializing. We tell them that human life is very rare. We have to attain immortality. The real problems are birth, death, old age and disease. We have to become thoroughly convinced of this fact. 
that we are eternal we have to revive our position so every moment is valuable here just like we will not disturb a student in their plus two because they are preparing for entrance examinations they don't attend any social functions any other entertainment similarly this entire human life is a preparation and every moment is should not indulge in any kind of uh worldly activities but still sometimes it is understandable we will be forced to go out in those situations try to take that opportunity to preach some people we will find here and there try to preach and if that is not possible simply chant and think of krishna so in material world prabhupada also faced this situation he was living in a place in bauri in new york where uh, uh, prabhupada was keeping his potatoes and vegetables and his roommate who was a drug addict he was keeping non veg in the same refrigerator so how uh, nasty is the situation but prabhupada tolerated it so when we are in krishna consciousness in principle we avoid such situations but when we are properly in krishna consciousness then we are not in this world the typical example given is lord parmatma is situated in everyone's heart he is situated in the heart of a pig also who is sitting in the drain but is parmatma feeling the filth of the drain getting disturbed by it no even the parmatma is there in the heart of the pig who is in drain parmatma is not in drain parmatma is in vaikuntha always similarly the body of situation can be in unfavorable circumstances appears to be in material world but devote devotee by his virtue of krishna consciousness is always on spiritual platform relishing the remembrance of krishna's name form activities and past times thus devotee is always in bliss so by following krishna consciousness 24 hours chanting krishna's name we can gradually aspire for such consciousness so please don't feel depressed and try to preach when we are in preaching mood we are in their gathering always we are looking who can understand krishna consciousness to whom should i speak so in this way we will not be affected prabhu i am doing for my sadhana minimum 16 rounds book reading with my college but after few days i have to enter into my job where i have to devote very 10 hours at least now how i can maintain my consciousness so try to reduce gradually from 10 hours make it 9.75 9.5 9.25 9 gradually bring it down to 8 hours and even after trying if it is not possible look for alternate options there are many options in which people will allow us to work for 8 hours salary could be little less it does not matter we cannot compromise our morning and evening program morning and evening i should be absorbed in hearing and chanting discussing about krishna that is real pleasure that is bliss if we learn the art of relishing morning and evening program then in day also we will relish our work in the office and factories and studies and if we do not learn to relish krishna consciousness our regular activities our vocational duties also will bring so much of constraints and depression in our lives so please don't compromise on kc bliss priyanshu prabhu hare krishna prabhu ji please read three questions prabhu i am fully confused that every religion says that their worshiping persons the supreme lord okay you might have posted previously yeah every religion tells every child thinks my daddy is strongest but that is not fact every child thinks my daddy is correct he is most knowledgeable but that is not fact and in different religions sometimes they create concocted gods sometimes they worship same gods by different name so we have to have knowledge are they worshiping same god who is known by different names or they have manufactured any materialist and elevated him to the position of god so an intelligent person seeks truth Hare Krishna Prabhu Can a devotee play games online to become a streamer on YouTube Is it against scriptures They are very very addictive in nature So usually one one should not indulge in such activities playing online or offline games these are very addictive activities So unless one is a professional sports person unless one cannot do any other job then one can do this thing and with the results of activities one can serve krishna otherwise in principle one should avoid such activities
Muslims say Allah is supreme and everything is bogus Krishna. I think I just answered this question. Hare Krishna, I do mala every day but it's not free of offenses. Is it wrong what to do? It is not wrong provided we are trying to come out of offenses. Nobody criticizes a child for being ignorant provided child is going to school and studying very nicely. If a child does not study, then yes, chastisement is bound to happen. So if we don't try to come out of offenses, we are comfortable committing offenses, not making spiritual advancement, then such offenses will feed anarthas in our hearts and material desires, lust, greed will come up. That is very dangerous. But offensive chanting is not bad as long as we are trying sincerely to come out of offenses. So please continue. We all do offensive chanting. We start with that, but constant effort should be there to come out of it, to come to reflexive and eventually pure stage. Hare Krishna, Dhanvat Pranam. I heard Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma are Gunavtaras of Krishna. Then why are they considered as living entities? That Lord Brahma also has certain lifespan. Yes, a lifespan is always there because they have taken bodies. Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, they also accept bodies. And uh, this difference does not exist for Krishna. Dehi Dehi Vibhedoyam Neshvare Vidyate Kvachit. In Krishna, there is no difference in body and soul of Krishna. But otherwise, everyone picks a body. Everyone is eternal. All are living entities. We are also eternal. But as we pick up and leave bodies, Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva also pick up and leave bodies. Everything belongs to Krishna. Then why do surrender devotees have to earn livelihood by getting entangled in material life? By performing no karma, will devotees be just dependent on Krishna's mercy? So we have to understand what is Krishna's mercy. Sitting in one place, uh, that was not recommended even for Arjuna. Yes, that is possible in very high consciousness, just like Haridas Thakur. He was sitting in one place and chanting, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Krishna himself was bringing him Jagannath Prasadam every day. Or he was sending, telling his devotee to take it to Haridas Thakur. So, he need not visit temple. Lord is coming to see him. He need not go out for prasadam. Lord is sending prasadam for him. Sitting in one place is a fact that is called Ajagar Vritti. If a person is highly spiritually advanced, Paramhansa, he can just sit at one place and chant. Everything will be sent by Krishna. But in our stage, we should not imitate that consciousness. We should work as our mind and body tells us and the result should be offered to Krishna. So because we are not on that platform, we should not imitate such exalted paramansas. Prabhu, I am doing sadhana regularly with college, but next week I am going to job, join job where I have to devote. Okay, this we discussed. Hare Krishna Chandrakant Prabhu. Okay. When too many thoughts via thinking ability of mind, overpower intelligence superficially. At that point in time, how to balance spiritual material life? So immediate remedies chanting, sit down and please try to chant and hear each and every word very attentively, lovingly, till our mind gets fixed on the lotus feet of Krishna or on the sound vibration of Krishna. Saurav Prabhu Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Prabhuji, if a person rents his place to other who runs hotel to serve non-veg, does owner affect spiritually? Yes. One will lose one's spiritual life. So that is why one should be careful. And uh, But in Kali Yuga, everything is mixed with uh, this thing. We might have a person who is eating non-veg. Now we cannot drive out such people. So that is why 50% of the results of one's activity should be offered to Krishna. But never encourage activity in which we know that it is directly, four regulative principles are being broken. Our place is being rented to a hotel which is serving non-vegetarian food, then we should not do that. Any uh, business or activity in which four regulative principles are being broken, my place is being used as a brothel, I should not give. As a brewery, it should not be given. So directly, violation of four regulative principles should not take place. Otherwise, in every job it can happen, I am working in a company. And the result of my work profit goes to boss. My boss is 
third class person he indulges in all sinful activities what can be done we cannot leave job like that every person is sinful so thus minimum 50% when we offer to Krishna we are purified of such things can I preach Krishna consciousness in train and public places yes why not is it Nam Aparad no if you are not preaching to faithless don't preach to faithless who become angry hearing the name of Krishna there are innocent people who are willing to listen to them we should preach Kalyani ji, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Prabhu, think nothing of it, His divine grace, words during that non-veg fridge incident, this was the best four words which can solve all our problems. Dhanvat Pranam Prabhu ji, why the same realization that is not coming during our job that I am doing the job to serve Krishna? So two things are there. One thing is either we are not doing it properly and uh, another thing is we are not offering the results to Krishna. If you don't offer the results of our activities to Krishna, such consciousness will not come. It happens automatically. The typical example is uh, given that of arranged marriage in our country. Now, of course, now people are choosing their life partners very freely. But for a long time it has been arranged, even now it is arranged in many parts. So what is arranged marriage? Husband and life, they do not even now at least they interact. Otherwise they don't even have time to interact with each other. And uh, after marriage they get to know each other. There is no love because they do not know each other. But wife starts serving the husband. Husband works hard to take care of wife. And in this way, when they are serving each other by this mutual service, love develops automatically. That is why we engage in the service of Krishna and then the feeling and love develops automatically. Consciousness develops automatically. So we have to offer the results of our activities to Krishna. When we do it, then such uh, consciousness we will be able to carry in our workplace also. So thank you so much for all your questions. And please try to understand uh, it's not about balancing, it is about spiritualizing our material existence. So please keep chanting, try to chant offenselessly. That is the foundation of all spiritual life. Thank you so much for hearing. We'll meet again next week. Hare Krishna.